Just so there's the all-seeing eye. The all-seeing eye, the police eye. Here is the obelisks. With the sun hieroglyph. Here we see it again, eh? There's something in the middle. I don't know what that is. And it has the um, the joining, Freemasonry joining, and the uh, the world domination. And this is where they dominate the world, where they made the. Uh, this is the Swiss Parliament from the other side, with all the Nazi gold on top here, all the Swiss gold. And uh, yeah. Look at the gold they have, eh? And where it's green, it's copper. So the, the gold, the gold is no copper, right? So this is the um, the UBS, the United Banksters of Switzerland, or Usama Bank Switzerlanden, you know. And um, on the other side. We've got the obelisk there, which I showed before, and that was the all-seeing eye. Oh, never mind. And uh, there's the, the Parliament, or the Bundeshaus, where they have the Covenant, the Bund. So, the, um, these guys here, they're the ones who attract very rich people from all over the world in a uh, tax, tax evasion haven like Switzerland. So they don't pay any more taxes at home, but tax, taxes have to be paid, right? And all the taxes are going to be on the back of the poor people. Well, I mean, the rich never paid the taxes anyway. Look at the noblemen and the kings. I mean, they took the taxes, didn't they? So it's quite logical that the rich people, they are not paying, paying any taxes. And um, the Swiss banks, they were made by the Templars. And uh, the temp uh, they founded the, the Swiss banks and Switzerland in 1291. Uh, the last of the, uh, of the Crusades took place in 1291. And uh, Aachen, Saint-Jean d'Acre in French, was uh, the last stronghold of the Templars, which fell on uh, May 18th, 1291. So only two and a half months later, the time to get back on horseback and uh, on foot. In those days, they founded Switzerland on uh, August 1st, 1291. So it's without any doubt that the Templars treasure went to Switzerland, right? And you would be astonished all about all the things you'd find in the Swiss caves and in the Swiss banks, you know, about uh, uh, the last 5,000 years uh, of human history. Yeah, so the UBS. Uh, they are right near to the parliament, of course, here. Uh, where the gangsters are, the banksters. And they are ruling the parliament. <laughs> Okay, well, watch the Faro show for more. Allez voir le show Faro, le, le Faro show, si vous voulez savoir de plus. Uh, schauen Sie die Faro show, wenn Sie mehr wissen wollen. As we see here, the bank, the United Banksters of Switzerland Bank, has uh, three keys. Does that remind anybody of something? Well, the Vatican has two keys. Oh, well, they probably have to have something to do with each other. Well, I mean, they are the, uh, the Swiss guard in the Vatican who have a museum in a town called Zion in Switzerland. And of course, there were the Templars, you know, who had to do any, some things with the Vatican as well. So that explains the three keys at the bank and the two keys of the Vatican. So you guys go and search where are the four keys or the one key. Okay, well, 
Think it over. Oh, here's the whole parliament from the other side. It's Isis, the Swiss witch. And uh, another time Isis with a sword. That's Babylon. And on top here, three times Isis, the Swiss witch. And the gold. And uh, well, let's film them back. Hello, they're probably looking. So this one is on the parliament. And that one is looking around. And here we got the joining there. Yeah. Yeah. Probably looking. What is he filming? No. So, um, big brother, you're all seeing eye. Right. And another bank. It's full of banks here. Where the parliament is, another bank. That was the UBS, as we saw before. There again. And again. Another bank. Alien bank. There. The bank there. Credit Suisse. Oh. I mean, without any question, who's giving the orders here? I just showed it to you. Here it says 1291 when the when Switzerland started with the joining underneath. There it says this is the uh, the sun hieroglyph all around. So there it says, hey, eh? 1291, as I told you. Parliament. Bloody gangsters they are.